Z Bird, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today is the start of a brand new event here in January. It's a whole new year, 2020, and along with it, this snow day event is here full of rewards and tons of news. So much news. I'm so excited for 2020 for Battle for Neighborville. The first year of it in 2019, starting back in September, has been so much fun, and it looks like the fun is not ending anytime soon. Not only do we have an event worth of stuff, but we have news on the horizon of upcoming events with brand new maps and a brand new character coming to the game. I'll be talking about it and more throughout today's episode. But for right now, let's focus on Snow Day and take a look at the Snow Day prize map. The grand prize for completing everything is the Century Dragon, which is really cool. I think that's because it is um, the year of the dragon on, because usually I think that's like the Chinese uh, like years, like there's the year of the rat, ox, dragon, a couple of others. Uh, I can't remember all of them, but I'm pretty sure it's the year of the dragon this year. And we have a couple of things. We're gonna be going through the entire prize map, uh, starting with the Cluck Schmuckers, which is a puncher with chickens. I also have already 15 prize bulbs just to get started with on today's prize map. So we're gonna start purchasing things right away, starting with these punchers. And then we have the Engineer Taunt Cool Moves. Oh wow, pretty cool indeed. He's all over the place. Okay, well, Cool Moves is gonna be five prize bulbs. Might as well purchase it. And then next up we have What A Zoo. All right, uh, don't really know what that's supposed to mean too much, but that is going to be an expression. And down here is the start of this map's uh, item set, which will be the master chicken set for the super brains. Can't quite afford that. Yeah, there's also the year of the chicken, which I don't think it's the year of the chicken. Um, uh, fish, cool. There we go. And it looks like because of that, I can also get uh, 30 free rainbow stars. So we got that, and we'll, we're gonna keep going through everything just because I don't have enough prize bulbs to get it doesn't mean we co can't keep taking a look at it. We got the Scoot Scoot Jester for the Chomper. It's a little creepy, to say the least. I don't know how I feel about it. Especially how he holds his mouth when he, it's just weird. I don't know. Anyways, um, next up we have the Piggy Paradise Victory Slab. I love that one. That might be one of my favorites so far when it comes to the uh, Victory Slabs. We also have, aw, the cute kitty expression. Over this way, the cockadoodle do because of chickens again. Um, master chicken foot for the super brain. So this is part of once again the master chicken set. The you see that uh, expression, grr, party time. And then there's a lot of expressions this time around. Um, we also have the year of the pirate. Once again, year of the rat is one of them. I was born on the year of the rat actually, 1996. Sleepy time. And then oh, I like this Ella Ella flop. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, has a little pin in the background. That's for the imp. Whoa, what is going on over there? What is, oh, is that the mech? <laughs> I think that's the mech's arm. I guess the mech is in the preview. I don't know, what, what's with that over to the left? I'm pretty sure that that's the mech though. Uh, anyways, we have them 30 more rainbow stars and then the Cobb Juggler expression. Ah, I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> I guess it sort of makes sense. That's actually a really cool one. Over this way, the two lanes are continuing. We have the monster cap pea shooter hat. Spectrum hat, of course, it can change colors. A really cool one, I like that. Three, two, one, what time is it? The chicken sighting. There's a lot of expressions with this one. I'm a bit surprised. We have our super rare costume in this map. It is the camouflage commander. Oh, I like this one. This one's for the soldier. We don't get too many soldier costumes, so this is actually really nice. Farm 2003. Z Farm 5200, huh? Anyways, uh, over this way we have the Bilge Rats punchers. Oh, they're so cute. There's so many cute like emotes and gestures and, well not gestures, I said gesture punchers. Um, I like them. We have the Happy Puppy and then th 30 Rainbow Stars and then we also have the Master Chicken Hat, part of the Super Brains Master Chicken set. Over this way we have the Chubby Birdie. He doesn't really look too chubby to me, but okay. Stay Frosty expression. And then fish slicer punchers. That one's a little weird. Not a goat. Why not goats? Uh, whoa. Yucky ducky spectrum hat. It's like an umbrella hat. That looks pretty cool. I like it. I don't know what's so yucky about it. Then we have 30 rainbow stars up this way. And then over here, hello, Mr. Sandwich. That's that's cool and creepy at the same time. I don't know how I feel about it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year indeed. Also, let me know your guys' uh, New Year resolutions. I would love to hear about them in 2020. We got the Cat Stack Victory Slab. That one I love a lot. That one might be my new, new favorite. And then we have 30 rainbow stars. And then following up, we have the Millennium Dragon. 
Wow. I gotta say, this might be my favorite um, final costume in a event so far. Out of all four of them that we've had, uh, this one might be my favorite. It looks so cool. Um, and then going back over here, what do we have? We have the Exhibit D Victory Slab. It is like a, you know, a history museum exhibit with a dinosaur skeleton. Mighty Hedgehog's Punchers. Those are cool, they're cute. And then we have the Battle Cat Blast Hat for the 80s action here. Oh, I like this. I guess it's sort of supposed to be inspired by like 80s Transformer style toys. So that's really cool and that'll be 10 bulbs as well. Actually, is that usually 10? Yeah, that's usually 10. I was gonna say, isn't that usually like 15? I don't think so. But anyways, luckily we we're able to unlock a couple of them to start off today's episode. We'll have to keep earning more throughout this month of January. Along with it, I wanna take a look at what Rux has to offer. Um, I know that recently um, we bought a costume from him for Space Cadet that I haven't checked out. Monthly EA access reward's gonna be 30,000 coins. I thought I already got this. Did I not? Huh, I thought I purchased it already. I guess I'll have to get that soon then. On top of that, is there anything else? We have a singing for science gesture. He's jamming out. And the ground spinny acorn gesture. Is that everything right now? It looks like it. And of course, you could also get more prize bulbs. So you know what? In the spirit of snow day, let's go ahead and get this right now. The overlord Zorgi. She sneezed in her helmet and it won't come off. Yikes, that's that's gross. Uh, and then we can also afford one of these gestures. I think I like the scientist one a little bit more. And it seems like you know, stuff eventually pops back up again. So if you miss something, no big deal. I'll definitely get more um, prize bulbs, or not prize bulbs, rainbow stars eventually. So yeah, let's take a look at everything. I wanted to take a look around Giddy Park and sort of see what's going on. Because some of you, yeah, this guy right here, some of you were saying there was a pickle in the Giddy Park now. It's old Dylan. <laughs> Oh, I get it because like a dill pickle. Facial shrubs make me look like I came out of the jar yesterday. Uh, okay. Will you say something new if I leave and come back? I go on rindfulness retreats to keep myself feeling fresh. So he's like really into self-care, I like it. If you're over the dill like me, a hot stone fruit massage is key. He really does just have like a lot of self-care routines. Well, he's looking great. You'd never know to never know to look at me, but I'm 79 and failing a brine. <laughs> wow, you're 79 years? That's a really old pickle. I'm glad he's feeling good. Battling has got my rind feeling rough. I need to exfoliate. Okay, or exfoliate. I don't know. If you're okay, so it looks like we might have actually seen them all. Yeah, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. He's just here for some reason. I mean, I don't mind, so the more the merrier. It'd be cool if every event we had new new friends popping up. So I did want to take a look at some of those uh, new victory slabs and other things. Um, so we have six new ones I just haven't taken a look at. Um, starting with this, okay. Any of these I want to equip right now? I don't think so. Unless, was it, did we unlock the rat one? We didn't, so I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Um, and for the punchers, I'll do a chicken. <laughs> it's scaring the chicken away. Oh, poor chicken. Um, so yeah, we'll do that one, and then over this way, there's these guys. I guess that's one thing I missed. Okay, there we go. So yeah, let's just keep looking around Giddy Park a little bit. I don't know what's going on around here, if there's anything new or extra. I love how they changed the snowman a little bit. They're not really very feast of his theme, though. They just have like a normal scarf and a bucket and everything, but it looks cool. But beyond that, it is mostly similar to how Feast of Us was. It's just everything was sort of tweaked a little bit, still very snowy and stuff. Um, I think that the air balloons were changed from presents into, I guess, just normal hot air balloons. Interesting. Also, since I've remembered, uh, let's go ahead and check out the character challenges for this month. We have Snapdragon, Foot Soldier, All Star, and Rose. So expect episodes coming up on all of these. And if we 100% complete it, we get the Super Strum Bear Universal Hat. Fits all plants and zombies like magic or elastic. That one's actually really cool. That might be my favorite favorite uh, character challenge reward so far. So they've been really knocking it out of the park so far. And speaking of park, let's take a look around Giddy Park. Is there anything new around here? Maybe some new characters to talk to or something like that. So far, not looking like it. Like I said, it was. it's mostly similar to, um, apparently the location of the Giddy Park Trust has been revealed. Did I run into it? Because I wanna, I wanna see it if I can. I don't see it, but I do see the snowman. Oh, I like his hat. Reminds me of Crazy Dave. But yeah, I don't see too much else.
going on around here that's at least new. I might run around real quick just to take a look and I'll let you know if I find anything, but I do love how frost covered the bushes are. That's really cool. So I couldn't really find anything, so I figured we'd take a look around the zombie side to see what's new. First off, we do have the Snow Day logo. Good to see that. I didn't know if this one was gonna have one. What is going on? What is this? What in the world? Under construction? Wait a minute. Is this gonna be like a new story mode area? No way. No way, because like it sort of like lines up with everything. Oh my gosh, this could be like a, a teasing of a new story mode area. That would be so cool. Oh man. So it looks like they're hinting a lot towards 2020 and some of the updates we have coming up, which would make sense with something I'm gonna be talking about right later in today's episode. But for right now, I just wanted to poke around to see what other you know stuff is going on. We got this guy chilling out. Uh, I crossed into New Year first. Nice. <laughs> you say that, but your trophy says number two. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be the joke. So I don't see too much else going on. I mean, there was the pickle to talk to in the other area. Will there be somebody around here? I guess not. Huh. Whoa, hold on. Hey, <laughs> who are you? You're just like a, a, a gossip gill. So you're like a uh, gargantuar that's gossiping. Uh, Secret plant base exists. Believe Garg who dropped truth bombs and bomb bombs. Huh. So there's a secret plant base. What else will you say? As a Garg, I'm offended zombies think I'm puppet for handsome imp. Oh, well there is an imp back here, isn't there? <laughs> I guess so. It looks like he's controlling you, but do you think on your own? A Garg told me plants have secret base, purple monkey dishwasher. Purple monkey dishwasher. Is that like a secret? Is there literally like a, a purple monkey with a dishwasher or a purple dishwasher with a monkey on it? Or is that like an anagram of some sort, like a code or something? I definitely have to think about that for a bit. I hear secret plant base is where they modify their genes. Well, I mean, you probably, with how big you are, you probably have modified genes too. Look at, look at these, they're already all ripped up. You need a new pair. Me, gossip, I just say stuff with no checking. It's called news. That's, that's not how that works. If Garg's puppeteered by quiet imps, they find secret plant bases no problem. So I guess you're saying that you're not puppeteered by the imp? So the imps know. Well, you better cough up that info soon. Secret plant base exists, believe Garg who dropped truth bombs. So it looks like we have heard everything he has to say. One more time though. Yeah. Huh, that is very elusive. I wonder if this is gonna have something to do with it. I have no clue. We can also talk to some other characters that are always around. Nothing like a mug of artificial brains flavored cocoa on snow day. <laughs> Sounds great. So we've checked out everything around Giddy Park for right now. What we're going to do to move forward is play a little bit online as I talk a bit more about the upcoming changes to the game that they've already confirmed. Super excited about this. And yeah, let's just get started and have some fun on some turf takeover. So I figure I'll play a little bit with the pea shooter just because he's who I'm in the mood to play with. But yeah, if you've seen the most recent blog post from PopCap on the Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Nibberville official website, they've actually confirmed not only this month's festivities, but the next two months as well. Next month is February, and they were talking about how it will be the the uh, Valen Brains event, of course, for Valentine's Day. Super duper exciting. But on top of that, there was a little bit more to it. They're also bringing forward a brand new turf takeover map. Of course, that's the game mode we're playing on right now. It's my favorite game mode. It's most people's favorite game mode. And for good reason, it's just a really cool game mode. Um, and I'm super excited for that just because it's something I've always wanted for a while. I mean, I wanted more turf takeover maps in Garden Warfare 2. So the fact that they are definitely, wow, that was cool. Um, the fact that they're working on that here in Battle for Neighborville so early on in the game, to me is really exciting. And it makes me excited to see what the future of the game will be. I almost got that all-star. Pretty good start with the pea shooter though. Got three vanquishes right off the bat. Um, but yeah, I really have no clue what it's gonna be, but that would make sense if there is a brand new story mode, because if you've noticed, every story mode area has a turf takeover map that greatly represents it. It's sometimes slightly reordered, but of course this map takes a lot of inspiration or is very similar in the layout to the Weirding Woods. And same thing with um, Goopy Gully, it's mostly just uh, Mount Steep. And of course the more backyard looking turf takeover map is based off of uh, Town Center. 
for both plants and zombies. So I think that's really cool and very much so makes it likely that if we're getting a new turf takeover map, maybe we're getting a whole new section to explore in the story mode. And if it's on the zombie side, I didn't see any kind of opening like that on the plant side. I'm guessing that means that's going to be a zombie oriented story mode. That is very exciting. Will that start in February? Well, I guess we'll just have to see. I need to really work hard this next month to try to fully complete all the other story mode sections because I want to be able to do that before new story mode stuff shows up for sure. Uh, I do see this guy way over there and he sees me, I think. Um, ow, ow. Okay, watch it, buddy. Come on, oh, almost got him, but he got me. <laughs> But yeah, it'll be very exciting to see what's up. But more than that, the month after March, not only once again have they confirmed which event it's gonna be, it is going to be the Luck of the Zombie event. Um, like, you know, uh, St. Patrick's Day. Um, but also, they have announced there will be a brand new zombie class to play. Now that is pretty crazy. So it's not gonna be a variant, it's gonna be a whole new class, the 11th class for the zombies. It'd be cool eventually if we get a new plant class as well, but I'm sure they're gonna roll that out like one at a time. And I wonder if that's something that I'll just continue. Maybe each event will get like a whole new thing like that. Maybe, maybe not, but man, oh man, is that exciting. Just because there's a whole new class. Of course, we've played a lot of these classes. We've played every single class in the game, and we can, you know, I can definitely vouch for each one being versatile and useful in their own way. And that's just awesome to see that we're gonna be getting a whole new one. Now, when it comes to theories on what this zombie class might be, I mean, I gotta be honest, a lot of you have already suggested some great ideas, and the number one most prominent idea a lot of you have talked about seems to be the fact that if you go into the story mode for both plants and zombies, all of the different characters you can run into are already existing classes in the game, except for one. On the Weirding Woods story mode, you do talk to the, the main head honcho for the dummy fan club. And he's just like a totally new guy we've never seen before. A lot of you say he sort of looks like a wizard, so the guess is that the new class is going to be a wizard type zombie to maybe go against the Rose. And that's pretty cool, if you ask me. I'm really looking forward to seeing if that's gonna be in the, end up being the case. Um, but we'll just have to wait until March. It's gonna be a long wait, but it'll be well worth it. Just man, oh man, I'm just so blown away and excited for the new changes coming in 20, or in, in this year. So we're talking about it as if it's you know still 2019. Because <laughs> that's what it feels like, right? Takes a little bit to get used to. But yeah, it seems like it's gonna be a great year for Plants vs. Zombies. Who knows what's gonna be happening with their other games. Of course, Plants vs. Zombies 2 hopefully gets continual updates or more plants. They, I know they just added a new plant, the Ultimato. Gonna be showcasing that soon. On top of that, I mean, hey, who knows? I know, of course, that the pre-alpha for PvZ3 launched in 2019. Will we see PvZ3 launched in 2020? I don't know, but it would be cool to see it. Or just anything new, just PvZ related. It's always exciting to see. Okay, let's get out of here. Try to be a bit careful. Is there, if there's a soldier over this way, trying to beat him up. Because does he have a bomb? He does not, but he's trying to protect somebody who does. Oh no, oh, run. Okay, so I dodged that. Okay, so she got taken out. Let me go ahead and revive our cactus friend here. Can I grow a plant while I'm doing that? Yes, I can. Multitasking. All right, so we only have 30 seconds left to defend here. And honestly, that's most of the news. But yeah, I would love to hear your predictions for the new turf takeover map, for the potential new story mode elements, and the uh, potential, I mean, not even potential, guaranteed new character. What do you think it's gonna be? Okay, let's get up this way. Come on, beat you up. We have 15 seconds remaining. Come on, get you, get you, get you. Awesome. Also, another thing I forgot to mention, definitely worth talking about, maybe actually we'll talk about it next round a little bit, but they are having a ranked mode being added to the game and seeing how this round's about to end. We'll talk about it next round. Really looking forward to it though, for sure. So there we go, we stopped them. We won this round. We'll just move on to the next one now. Okay, so we are heading into some action with the zombies. I might as well play as a soldier. That sounds like fun to me. But yeah, there's a couple of things I still have yet to mention. Like I said, the Battle Arena ranked is coming in the, the Luck of the Zombie Festival. Um, so with that, basically, we've already had Battle Arena mode. We've checked it out in a previous episode. I want to do more Battle Arena, but starting in March, there'll be a ranked version of Battle Arena, which means, of course, the better you play, you'll get a higher rank, you'll play against better players. That sounds like it could be a lot of fun. 
I definitely want to participate in that, and hopefully it'll be similar to, say, ranked mode for PvZ Heroes, which was, of course, the mobile card game. Um, in that game, there was a ranked season every few weeks or every month or so, and if you got high in the in the season, you'd get a lot of rewards. I would really like to see something like that for Battle Arena. We'll have to wait and see, but I will definitely be participating, even though I'm not the best at the game. Hopefully, I improve by participating in the Battle Arena ranked. And then on top of that, one thing I forgot to mention, I didn't even see this before, but I was just checking it between rounds. It actually does mention the name of the new Turf Takeover map. It is Preserve Pastures. And if you don't know, a pasture is a a big sort of field of grass. There we go, I got rid of him before he was able to explode him with the sap trap, pretty good but a big field of grass, something you would see like maybe cows or horses grazing on. And to me, that just sounds so exciting. I really like big open areas in games like this. And I just, I can't wait to see what that ends up being like. Maybe they'll just be like a huge outstretched portion of lands that we get to explore. I really don't know. Maybe I'm being a little bit too ambitious, who knows, but it's surely gonna be a lot of fun. So if that's the case, I'm just imagining the story mode, like how that's gonna work. Like, that'd be interesting if they did try something like that. I don't know if they're exactly going to. But even that that kind of, like, style of landscape, the, the pastures, to me is really exciting. I, I've always liked that sort of, like, quiet farmland type of environment. And that's sort of kind of what um, this area is like, but it's obviously a bit more populated. But yeah, it'll be very interesting. Especially, you know, just to imagine a zombie story mode on a farm where plants thrive, they're gonna be in over their heads. That'll make for some interesting story opportunities. We'll have to wait and see for sure, but that'll be happening next month in the Vellum Brains Festival, so theoretically we don't have long to wait. We'll have to wait and see though. And on top of that, you know, who knows, oh my. Oh, that got him, but that, that didn't do any damage. That's sort of a shame. Okay, I'm just gonna try to hide around the corner as much as I can. It's working. Did he hop out of the... What, what? Okay, that was weird. Anyways, got him, nice. And we get a prize ball for that. And who knows if that has anything to do with that secret plant base the, the Gargantua was talking about. Maybe that is something totally different. Like I said, what was it? It was purple monkey dishwasher. And that could be like a metaphor or a figure of speech. It could be literal because I don't think zombies are too good at, at metaphors or puzzles, but at the same time, maybe that Gargantua specifically is. Anyways, come on, keep getting them. Of course, we know that PopCap is no secret, or no strangers to cool secrets and stuff. I didn't go to Warfare 2 with the gnomes. Things got pretty crazy. So who knows what might end up happening this time around with the secret monkey, or purple monkey dishwasher. If you have any ideas on what it could be, let me know. Maybe we could start investigating it. But I, I, I immediately think, I don't think it's gonna be so, you know, black and white, pun intended, um, for it to actually just be a purple dishwasher in the shape of a monkey or a monkey on top of a purple dishwasher or something like that. I think that it's going to be a play on words or an anagram of some sort. If you don't know what an anagram is, right? An anagram is a word that if you rearrange the letters makes a different word. Um, so I'm trying to think of like an anagram off the top of my head. It's not very a very easy task, but there we go. Got rid of you. Especially while I'm trying to play a game. <laughs> but I'm sure you can think of a couple. There we go. And, oh boy. Let's get rid of this first. Well, that's about all the news I can think of for the moment. But man, it's a lot. Very exciting that they're kicking off the new year with a ton of exciting info. And hopefully it just continues to get better and better. Hopefully throughout this year they add more new characters, more maps, more game modes, just all the new stuff. I'm super excited for it. Hopefully you guys are too. I know a lot of you started playing the game just you know this holiday season because you got it for Christmas. That's really cool. Hope you've been enjoying the game so far. Okay, game is getting a little laggy right now. As I'm complimenting it. It's a little ironic, don't you think? Okay, you are almost vanquished, but looks like you're holding on for now. Let's reload real, reload real fast. Okay, you're trying to get me, so, okay, that didn't quite work. That's fine, I still got the vanquish. Now beat up the chomper as much as I can. Where is he gonna pop up? Is he running away? Nope, he's not running away. I, I thought I reloaded. What happened there? That was weird. Anyways, uh, let's launch because these guys are all up in my face. That got you a little bit, finished you off. Very nice, what happened to the other one? He's over here, somebody got him. We're about to capture this, but they keep on delaying it. Got him, oh, just barely, we're up to it. Was that a times 12 vanquish streak? Wow, maybe not though, maybe I misread that. I'm at seven health, it's about to end, I'm not careful. 
Okay, Rose is over this way. I got a little bit of damage on her, but not too much. Okay, we're starting to heal again. But yeah, the future's looking really bright for this game. Honestly, it's just looking really bright for 2020 in general. Lots of cool games coming out. Lots of fun we should be having. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay. Oh, there's a chomper. Get the chomper real quick. He's trying to run. Got him. Yeah, times 13. Oh no. Who's behind me? Uh, it's a rose. It's a rose. I'm done for. Darn. <laughs> she got me quick there. That's for sure. So next up, oh no, hold on. But yeah, next up we got this final point. This will probably be the last round of the day. I didn't want it to be a super duper long episode. Just wanted to talk about all the uh, new stuff for the, the game. There we go, I at least got an assist with that. Now let's go ahead and get a win. Maybe. Okay, where's the sunflower at? Get hurt at least a little bit. There we go, nice vanquish. And that's gonna be level 10 or level nine? Okay, yeah. Uh, not bad. Keep moving, keep moving. Watch it. Oh, hello. Oh, this is a problem. Okay, I'm just gonna hide up here for now. Come on, just a little bit more, a little bit more. Come on, get him. Yeah, I got him. Run away, run away, run away. I can't, I don't know what's happening. He was like sprinting and then not sprinting over and over again. That was weird. Oh well, at least I got a vanquish or two before that happened. I'm up to 15 vanquishes, so this is great. Walnut, small nut, I know, right? So we haven't captured any of the vans yet. Let's work on that. Get some more zombies spawned in, don't get hit by one. Did that seriously hit me? How? Oh, that was silly. Okay, so it looks like they're attacking this thing. Because I think this can be destroyed, but it doesn't like really show it. I don't know, it's a little weird. It didn't turn out very well for me. <laughs> okay. So going to the right doesn't seem like the best idea right now. We need to group up as a team. Because we did so well, oh no. Leading up to this, but following that hasn't been so well. Maybe I should have spawned in the healing zombie. Probably could have made use of it. Okay, excuse me, Mr. All-Star. This Rose is jumping around, but she's a little weakened. All right, um, oh, get you. Sort of kind of worked. So we have this point, it seems. Oh, I'm a goat. That's unfortunate. Not what I wanted. Come on, almost not a goat. Just give me another couple of moments. Uh, there's too many plants. Too many plants. Oh my gosh. So we have this point, right? Or do we not? I don't even know. Oh no, that was an unfortunate jump. Ah, oh, geez, this last point's going so badly. It was going so well up to this. Oh well. But yeah, definitely, I wanna work on the story mode uh, videos more and more. If there is a new story mode segment on the way, I, I mean, potentially, we don't know for certain, but I can only hope. If that's the case, so I wanna be prepared for, I wanna have all the other story mode stuff done. If you wanna know what I'm still working on, uh, we're currently working on Mount Steep, and then I have to do the zombie story mode, and then we're done. Look, I've gotten more than half of it completed. Now, can you leave me alone? Apparently not. Okay, you go invincible. I'm going to throw down a cloud on you. So at least you won't be able to see me as easily. Oh, is it on you? No, 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 it's right here. It's just hard for me to see for some reason. Gotcha! That feels nice to be able to do that. Where's the nightcap at? She's over here. I know there are other people attacking me. Jeez. Do we have the smaller team now? I don't know, I just think the zombies are doing a really good job at, uh, I mean, the plants are doing a good job of vanquishing us before we even get here. They did a great job so far, but there's still two minutes remaining. If we can group up as a team and take not a walnut to the face, but instead take out a couple of plants, get the points real quick, it, we could win. There is a potential for winning. Let's get rid of the doom shroom if I can. There we go. Uh, reload real quick. He got vanquished. I am beating up the rose as much as I can. I got the citron. Oh, the rose is almost vanquished, darn. Come on, take this one real quick, and then I am running over here as fast as I can. Okay, who was that? Who was it? I don't know. Okay, throw this down. Oh, I don't have it. <laughs> no! Why are you everywhere I turn? Why? Every time I rocket jump, you just show up at that exact place. It's crazy. Come on, can we do this? I don't think so, but I gotta try. 
Man, the walnuts have been ridiculous. Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. I see acorn over this way. Can you stop with that? The rose is so powerful. It's crazy. Don't get me. Gotcha. I know they're gonna be trying to put a stop to me any moment now. If I could ZPG one of those roses, that'd be great. Somehow they're just not bothering stopping me. And the percentage is going up. Unless we get all three of them right now, it's not gonna work out, unfortunately. Might just be more worth it to focus on vanquishes at this point. Where are the plants at? Okay, you're vanquished. Who, who found me? You did. Be gone. There we go. Okay, the Citron clearly sees me. I don't know if there's much he can do about it. <laughs> okay, quickly just capture some points or something. I gotta reload. Bad time for reloading, I guess. Get rid of this corner cord quickly, quickly, quickly. Got him, and it looks like that's gonna be it. Time out. Oh, wow. We did really get up to here, so I'm definitely not complaining. But yeah, that's basically everything I wanted to talk about in today's episode, so we'll go back to Giddy Park and finish it off. I think I might have enough for uh, one more prize with the prize bulb, so that'll be cool. Okay, so we'll take one last look. It looks like I only have two prize bulbs. I had, a, I thought I had three, but I wouldn't have been able to afford this anyways. We'll keep working on it throughout the next couple of episodes as we do tons of stuff. Really looking forward to it, but for right now, let me know your thoughts on Snow Day, and that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.